Please join me in standing for the class of 2023 and remain standing for the national anthem. Please be seated. Good evening and welcome. I'm Laura Leatherwood, president of Blue Ridge Community College, and it's my pleasure to welcome you on behalf of our board of trustees, our faculty, staff, and our students to our fall commencement ceremony. Class of 2023, Tonight, you are surrounded by our entire college community to celebrate you. We celebrate you as witnesses of your incredible journey of hard work and determination and the countless hours of learning that you've brought you to this unforgettable moment. Because of the iconic mountains that surround our college here in Western North Carolina, we often use the analogy of reaching your summit to describe achievement. Today is such a summit that you have reached by persevering through your own unique set of circumstances, challenges, hopes, and dreams. In reality, our lives are a series of summits as we find new valleys to traverse and peaks to discover. 
So, as you stand triumphant today upon this academic summit, this milestone of graduation, I know I echo the pride of all in attendance when I say that I'm so very proud of you and whatever it took to get you here, you did it. You brought the necessary grit, determination, and perseverance to ascend to your goal. Now that you're here, your Blue Ridge education will continuously serve you by preparing the path before you. And as you set your course toward many new summits in the decades to come, you do so alongside a strong Blue Ridge alumni network of thousands upon thousands of accomplished members of our community and workforce. Graduates, we did it and we applaud you. I will add that this is also a very special day for the rest of us. For so many of you, encouragement came from classmates, friends, family members, scholarship donors, instructors, colleagues, and so many more because we knew you could do it. Graduates, I encourage you to take a moment to remember all of those who believed in you, hoped for you, encouraged you, invested in you, and worked to move hills or mountains that stood in your way. Let's give a round of applause to all of those who've helped our graduates reach this day. Graduation is also a day to specifically praise the efforts and values of our talented faculty and staff. They have chosen to serve Blue Ridge because they are driven to help students succeed, believing that higher education is a uniquely strong force for good in their lives. Choosing to serve in education means putting others first, day after day, year after year. Our college's vision is to transform lives by the power of learning, and our educators and supporting staff are the conduits of this power. They understand that learning can take you from where you are today to where you dream you'll be tomorrow. Graduates, I challenge you to remember those who invested in you during your time here at Blue Ridge empowering you to reach your goal. Let's give this Blue Ridge team a round of applause. As we continue to recognize our talented employees, I'd like to highlight several outstanding members of our team who just this month were presented with Excellence in Teaching and Service Awards. Please hold your applause until all the names have been read. And to our award winners, please stand when I call your name and remain standing. Receiving the Dr. Molly A. Parkhill Staff Person of the Year Award, Marcy Parsons, Program Assistant for Public Safety Training. Receiving the Dr. David W. Sink, Jr. Community Service Award, Virginia Plyler, EMS Instructor. Receiving the Dr. and Mrs. William D. Killian Excellence in Teaching Award, David Blevins, Mathematics Instructor. Receiving the Dr. Eliza B. Growey Extra Mile Award, Ryan Brown, EMT Instructor. Receiving the Wellness Employee Award, Katie Gould, Business Administration and Marketing Instructor. And finally, receiving the Laura Leatherwood Excellence and Leadership Award, Dr. Debbie DeWitt, Dean of Arts and Science. Let's give these outstanding faculty and staff a round of applause. There are also several esteemed guests with us today. Through their leadership, volunteering, giving, and other support, these individuals have helped to make Blue Ridge Community College the successful institution that is among those in the North Carolina Community College system. 
I would ask these friends of the college to please stand as I call your name and remain standing, and we'll show our appreciation through applause after all the names have been called. On our board of trustees, Chairman Chip Gould, Kathy Childress, Dr. Clay Edelman, Betty Gash, and Kelly Leonard. From our foundation board, Dr. Clay Edelman, Lori Garcia McCammon, Chip Gould, Brett Miller, Tom Murrell, Rick Wood, and Carolyn Alley. From our Henderson County Commission, Chairperson Rebecca McCall. From our Transylvania County Commission, Chairman Jason Chapel. From the North Carolina General Assembly, Representative Mike Clampett and Representative Jake Johnson. And from our community ambassadors and other friends of the college, Ed McCammon. Thank you. We couldn't do this important work without your support. Let's give them a round of applause. And graduates, United States Senator Tom Tillis was unable to join us tonight, but he did send a letter of congratulations to you, as well as his best wishes for your continued success in all of your endeavors. Similarly, our community's veterans deserve the highest honor for their service, and serving veterans is an important part of our values here at Blue Ridge. I would now like to take a moment to recognize those who have served and sacrificed for our great country. Veterans, if you will please stand and be recognized. Please join me in thanking our veterans here and across our community. I would also like to give special thanks to those assisting in today's ceremony, our honor marshals from the student leadership of Blue Ridge Community College, and our sign language interpreters, Sherilyn Small and Laura Nielsen, and our horticulture department who provided the lovely poinsettias you see here on the stage. Thank you to all of these individuals. Now at this time, I have the distinct pleasure of introducing today's commencement speaker, Henderson County Emergency Services Director Jimmy Brissy. We're especially grateful for Mr. Brissy's presence today, given that he has served gratefully this fall in organizing our community's response to the wildfires. Jimmy first became interested in emergency services at a young age after learning about emergency preparedness through the Boy Scouts. From there, his passion for the field grew and he earned his EMT certificate through Blue Ridge Community College when he was still a senior in high school. Jimmy headed to Appalachian State University, earning his bachelor's degree in criminal justice as well as a paramedic certification and basic law enforcement training at ne nearby Caldwell Community College and Technical Institute. He then moved home to Hendersonville and was a police officer at the Asheville Regional Airport for 18 years. When an opportunity in emergency management leadership opened up in Henderson County in 2016, Jimmy welcomed the chance to serve his hometown. Mr. Brissy is an avid supporter of our college and he frequently serves as an adjunct faculty member. We turn to him for expert advice on a wide range of initiatives, including developing relevant training programs and preparing for critical incidents. Mr. Brissy also spoke to our community during last May's public safety graduation ceremony and during the ribbon cutting of our most recent premier public safety training facility here on campus. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jimmy Brissy to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Leatherwood, for the warm welcome. It's an honor to stand here with each of you today to recognize this important day in your life, a day of celebration and accomplishment. We were standing outside earlier before the program and uh, David Stegall said, uh, I think Dr. Leatherwood wants you to sing the speech tonight. So I'm gonna spare you all the singing of the speech because that would uh, make everyone leave very, very quickly. 
As I look around the room, I see the smiling faces of graduates, sisters, brothers, parents, and grandparents who are proud of your accomplishments. We all stand alongside you to celebrate what you have done, what you will do, but most importantly, who you are. Each of you have reached a new milestone in your life. For some, you may be the first person in your family to cross over this stage. For others, you may be following in the footsteps of a sibling, mother, or father. For some of you, this isn't your first time here, and for others, it won't be your last. Like Dr. Leatherwood said, Blue Ridge has been a part of my life my entire year, my entire life. As I was standing thinking about this day and what to share about, I reflected on my time as I graduated from high school and college. I should note that even after almost 30 years, I still have this recurring nightmare of forgetting where a class is on campus or even what day I'm supposed to be in psychology. Maybe I need to go back to that class. But, but anyhow, back to graduation. As I think back to those days, I'm, I'm reminded that for many of us, that represents a change in our lives. It may be a change from adolescence to adulthood, perhaps a career change, or even what led to a change in where we live or who we live with, each of them a significant transition in our lives. I like to think of these transitions in life as seasons. I'm inspired by the idea that life, like the changing seasons, is a constant cycle of growth, change, and renewal. And since we are in the city of four seasons, it seemed like a fitting thing for tonight. You see, each season gives us something we can learn from as we journey through life. First, let's consider spring. Spring is a time of rebirth and renewal. Think back to when you started your journey here at Blue Ridge Community College. It was a fresh start, a chance to begin again on a new path for your career to impact your life. You could feel the hope for tomorrow and the excitement of a new challenge. You met new people and you built new relationships that would help you as you wrote this new chapter in your life. But spring doesn't come without some challenges. There are storms to endure. Perhaps your storm was juggling the unique challenge of school, work, and a family. Or maybe you just couldn't remember when you needed to be in psychology, much less where it was. Des despite how they made us feel at the time, those storms helped shape us. They helped make us stronger. Your friends and your family who are here today were alongside you, supporting you along the way. Those new relationships that you built during the spring helped strengthen you. You grew together, shouldering the storms that came your way. Spring teaches us to start something new, embrace change, and expand our horizons. Summer. Take a moment and think what summer means to you. It's longer sunlit days, a time for growth, a time for work. For me, it's mowing the lawn, which is a chance to listen to a podcast or music and solve all the problems of the world, or generally not. Summer is hard work, just like your time was here. Throughout the summer, you celebrated the fruits of your labor, classes successfully passed, projects completed, friendships strengthened. You learned more about yourself, what you like, what you don't like, your strengths and your weaknesses. You've put in the effort, which is part of today's tremendous accomplishment, but the work isn't over. Today is just a springboard to the next chapter. Perhaps it's your career or a pause before you continue your education. More work will be ahead. But don't worry, the friendships and relationships you've developed here will be alongside you during your journey. Autumn. I don't know about you, 
but it's my favorite time of the year. Show of hands, autumn, favorite time of year. Okay, we're getting there. And no, it's not for the pumpkin spice lattes. I know I look like a pumpkin spice latte kind of guy. <laughs> for so many years, I always thought I loved the fall so much because of the weather. You see, it's starting to cool off, which means there's fewer mosquitoes. There are foggy mornings, and you can feel and hear the crunch of the leaves under your feet. If you spend any time in the woods, there's a calmness in the air. It's just a comforting time of the year. Sitting by the fire pit, maybe not this year, and having a, a warm drink with friends. <laughs> But as I continued to think about autumn, I realized that weather is just a small part of it. The weather symbolizes what is actually happening, and, and that's change. Now, for me, it, this is hard to say because if any of you know a fireman, and I see a few firemen out in the, in the crowd, you know there are two things we don't like. We don't like the way things are, and we don't like change. But <laughs> I got an amen, that's right. But Autumn reminds us that change is inevitable. It's a time of transition. Each of you have experienced tremendous change in your time at Blue Ridge Community College. For some of your, you, your time here started as the world was changing. You were learning how to recover from the challenges of 2020. As you grew here, you recognized the importance of change and how transitions can impact your life. You've gained experience, you've learned lessons, and you've grown wiser. Autumn reminds us that what lies ahead is another season of change. It's a new adventure. And finally, there's winter, a season of reflection and rest. For an emergency manager or an educator, it's a time to worry about snowstorms, slick roads, and power outages. I jokingly say the last snow I enjoyed was when I was still in high school. But, but winter is more about just snow days and, and fun in the snow. It symbolizes a time to rest, recover, and prepare for the following spring, the next chapter of rebirth and renewal. Winter also gives us time for perspective. Have you ever spent time in the woods during the winter? Without all the leaves on the trees, we can see so far behind us. We can look back on our accomplishments, and see just how far we have come. As you look back on your time at Blue Ridge Community College, you can see how far you have come, how many challenges you have met, and how many obstacles you've overcome. That same visibility in the winter woods also lets us see what lies ahead. You have time to chart your path and decide the best route. I suspect the winter may be short for many of you. You're already planning what's next, and you've already been working hard towards your goal. Regardless of what that path looks like for you, please take some time to rest. You have years of hard work ahead of you. Take some time for yourself. Use this winter time of recovery to prepare yourselves for the next chapter. As we look at the four seasons, they also draw parallels in our lives. Everyone in this room can think of a different season of their life they may be in, a different chapter. As you reflect on these seasons, each of the graduates can be reminded that you were not there alone. You had friends and colleagues to help you with your journey. Your family made sacrifices to help you be here and they stand alongside you today to help you celebrate this tremendous accomplishment. I encourage you to thank those who helped make this possible. Thank your family, your friends, your teachers, 
and all the staff, each of them made their commitment to helping you succeed. As you start down the path to a new spring, I would encourage you to continue to support your classmates and be there to support new students who will follow in your footsteps. Graduates, as you look towards the future, don't forget the lessons that the seasons have taught us. Embrace new beginnings like the spring. Grow and expand like the summer. Lean into the challenges of autumn and be sure to rest and reflect like winter. Congratulations on this tremendous accomplishment. May your lives be filled with the blessings in the seasons ahead. Thank you for letting me spend some time with you. Class of 2023, best of luck. Thank you, Mr. Brissy, for sharing your unique vantage point as a Blue Ridge graduate and public servant and for encouraging us to take heart and persevere through the seasons of learning. And now, as Vice President for Instruction, Kathy Allen presents the graduates, you'll notice that many of our graduates are wearing white cords to signify that they are honor graduates. These accomplished students have reached their graduation day with a grade point average of 3.5 or higher. Please check your program for a full listing of our cords and their significance. Please introduce our graduates, Vice President Allen. Will the candidates for graduation please rise? Dr. Leatherwood, these are the candidates for the associate degree, diploma, and certificate. On behalf of the faculty at Blue Ridge Community College, I present these graduates to you for confirmation. As president of Blue Ridge Community College and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the North Carolina State Board of Community Colleges, I hereby confer these degrees, diplomas, and certificates upon the graduates from the 2023 graduating class. You may be seated. Jennifer Lynn Allison, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Logan Wayne Allison, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology, Cum Laude. Barbara Jean Arndt, Business Administration and Leadership Studies. Terrell Rache Barber, Early Childhood Education Preschool. Arleni Denitze Bartolone, Associate in Engineering, Magna Cum Laude. Austin Jeremiah Case, Associate in Science. Corey Danielle Chandler, Early Childhood Education. Shannon Marie Chapman, Associate in General Education, Summa Cum Laude. Tiffany Marie Cole, Early Childhood Education. <laughs> J. 
Jessica Dalliger, Associate in Arts, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Lindsay Danielle Davis, Cosmetology. Adriana Diaz Anastasio, Associate in Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Emily Huntley Donati, Surgical Technology. Svetlana Brial Eastman, Associate in Arts. Ethan Timothy Emery, Associate in Science. <laughs> Tiffany Leanne Faulkner, Associate in Science, Magna Cum Laude. Rainy Star Pfizer, Automotive Systems Technology. Malin Elizabeth Fletcher, Cosmetology. Savannah Jade Goodman, Business Administration, Magna Cum Laude. Jennifer Gordon, Associate in General Education, Magna Cum Laude. Jeffrey Philip Guazzo, Associate in Arts. Savannah Brooke Hensley, Associate in Arts. Christopher Daniel Hernandez, Automotive Systems Technology. Lawrence William Herrera, Automotive Systems Technology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Peyton Iris Jacko, Associate in Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Kaylee B.K. Jones, Automotive Systems Technology. Megan Sharice Lindsay Jones, Cosmetology. <laughs> Trevor James Justice, Emergency Medical Science. <laughs> Jasmine Freya Kitchen, Associate in Arts, Magna Cum Laude. Heather Knox, Associate in General Education and Business Administration, BASIC. <laughs> Margaret Losher, Information Technology, Computer Programming and Development, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Sulema. Lorano Hernandez, Early Childhood Education, Infant Toddler in Preschool, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Francis Leste Mays Gonzalez, Business Administration, Entrepreneurship. <laughs> Andrea Russell Maben, Business Administration, Cum Laude. Casey Sherwood McCraw, Welding Technology. <laughs> Gregory Joseph McMurray, Criminal Justice Technology. <laughs> Ann 
Angel Medina Barron, Collision Repair and Refinishing Technology, Cum Laude. <laughs> Sophia Faith Mervine, Associate in Arts and Interpreter Education. Julia McHale Kamel McHale, Associate in Science Pathway to Pharmacy, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Logan Mills, Automotive System Technology and Automotive Light Duty Diesel Technology. Cassandra Elaine Murich, Accounting and Finance, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Stephen Richard Morgan, Business Administration. <laughs> Chloe Elaine Ostman, Associate in Science, Summa Cum Laude. Aaron Patterson, Associate in Arts. Yeah! Jesus Manuel Pena, Mechatronics Engineering Technology, Industrial Manufacturing Production Technician Apprenticeship, Cum Laude. Alex Policarpo, Mechatronics Engineering Technology, Industrial Manufacturing Production Technician Apprenticeship, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Marcia Jean Quinn, Teacher Preparation, Magna Cum Laude. Miguel Angel Quintero, Associate in Arts. Gabrielle Michelle Rathmel, Horticulture Technology, Summa Cum Laude. Levi Abram Ray, Associate in Arts. Lauren Elizabeth Redfern, Human Services Technology Substance Abuse, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Philip Daniel Rhodes, Horticulture Technology, Small Fruits and Specialty Crops, Cum Laude. <laughs> Daphne Michelle Rodriguez, Teacher Preparation. Beth Ann Laws Russell, Accounting and Finance, Summa Cum Laude. Clayton Garrett Russell, Welding Technology, Summa Cum Laude. Danica Lachelle Santana, Accounting and Finance, Cum Laude. Michael Sidorovic, Fire Protection Technology, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Shannon Gwinnett Smith, Associate in Arts, Cum Laude. <laughs> Arnold Solalinde, Accounting and Finance and Business Administration, Summa Cum Laude. Lucas Lorenzo Stevens, Associate in Arts, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jose Guadalupe Tinoco Hernandez, Mechatronics Engineering Technology, Industrial Manufacturing Production Technician Apprenticeship, Magna Cum Laude. Laude. 
Amy Laban Webb, Accounting and Finance, Summa Cum Laude. Crystalon Tanzanalia Weber, Human Services Technology, Social Services. Tyler Gregory Whittington, Horticulture Technology, Magna Cum Laude. William Ernest Wick, Jr., Automotive Systems Technology. Elizabeth Angela Wofford, Teacher Preparation, Magna Cum Laude. Bonzi Lily Yateman, Associate in Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Patsy Logan Yateman, Associate in Arts, Summa Cum Laude. Soshi Guadalupe Zavala Sanchez, Business Administration Basic, Summa Cum Laude. Ryan Michael Ziegler, Associate in Arts. As I stand before you, class of 2023, it's my honor to address such a strong assembly of bright minds and hopeful futures. You are here today because you kept your dream alive and we can't wait to see all that you will accomplish in your respective fields. Per our graduation tradition, I'd li not, I'd li I'd, I would now like to offer you a short message and a challenge as you begin this next chapter of your lives. I hope these words remind you to be your best in the years ahead. So I recently read an entertaining article pointedly titled, A Timeline of Failed Tech Predictions. I'll avoid the individual names so as not to sound like I'm shaming anyone. Here are some examples. In 1878, an English university professor said, when the Paris exhibition closes, electric light will close with it and no more will be heard of it. That's electricity. Well, that didn't age well, so let's try something a little bit more recent. In 1903, a prominent bank president said, the horse is here to stay, but the automobile is only a novelty, it's a fad. Let's fast forward to 1943. The president of IBM said, I think there's a world market for maybe five computers. In 1998, a Nobel Prize winning economist said, by 2005 or so, it will become clear that the internet's impact on the economy has been no greater than the fax machine. And for good measure, just last week, we asked chat GPT bot what the future of artificial intelligence would look like, and here's what it said. While artificial intelligence holds great potential to positively impact various aspects of human experience, it also poses challenges and ethical considerations that need to be addressed thoughtfully to ensure that the integration of AI aligns with human values and societal well-being. Well That's impressive. Imagine how those quoted earlier would respond to the thought that a chatbot would exist at all and two would eventually give such a thoughtful answer. So why are those quotes so entertaining? 
With hindsight being 2020, we have the benefit of the rest of the story. We get to enjoy our vantage point from 2023 and judge 200 years of human progress. But looking forward, we may not be so bold. We might also underestimate ourselves. So let's look at these quotes in a more positive light. How about this? As human beings, our capability frequently exceeds expectations. So these technologies were not successful in and of themselves. They were propelled by those that wouldn't quit, by people who collaborated to make the dreams a reality, by people who met resistance but climbed the summit anyway. Graduates, it's my conviction that the greatest human achievements were created by people just like you. You are more capable than you may even know. And with that perspective, I now offer you my decades as an educated educator, three qualities that will help you succeed and meet your expectations in your career, your community, and your world. And these are qualities that even chat GPT can't reproduce. They are to be curious, be a critical thinker, and care about your work. First, be curious. Exceeding expectations and reaching summit after summit requires persistent curiosity. Curiosity will guide you toward all the right questions, as well as the knowledge and understanding you require in both your personal and professional lives. It will also help you to avoid jumping too quickly to incorrect conclusions and to be more patient with other people. Curiosity makes you adaptable, creative, and ready to learn, and it's also a key ingredient of the second quality, and that's to be a critical thinker. For graduates today, the struggle around information isn't that we need more of it, it's that there is far too much of it. And every day, we need to wade through piles of information and all kinds to determine what's true and what's helpful. As social media remains a strong influence in our lives and AI becomes a front runner in the technology race, critical thinking is perhaps more important than ever to evaluate information. But history has shown us that tomorrow will have new issues to overcome. And whatever the next challenge may be, every community, employer, and household needs people who can ask great questions, objectively evaluate information, remain open-minded, and effectively solve complex problems. And these are skills you can grow in, and they will serve you well. And third is to care. Caring is a choice. It's about having pride in how you invest your time and engaging your heart and mind in what you do. It also means determining the work you believe is most worthwhile and then throwing yourself headfirst into it. I've learned that giving your best comes naturally when you believe you are doing the best kind of work. So find and pursue what matters to you. Graduates, you were able to reach this day because you cared. You believed it mattered and would be a milestone toward a better life, and you acted accordingly. Now take this same determination and positive attitude that brought you here today into every day that follows. By caring about your work, you will inspire those around you and make a greater impact with your life. Finally, let us consider the philosophy of the late Dr. Dallas Herring, who was often called the father of the North Carolina community college system. He helped establish our colleges with the philosophy of taking people where they are and carrying them as far as they can go. Graduates, this has been our dream for you since you first walked in the door at Blue Ridge. And now your journey through education has brought you to this summit, but it's far from over. As you progress through your life and career, remember that leaving the world around, around us better than we found it, is what it means to be a Blue Ridge Community College graduate.
We know that you will make us proud. Congratulations once again to the class of 2023. Now, it's t this is the time you've been waiting for. It's my privilege to complete your transition from student to graduate. Will the class of 2023 please stand? You may now move your tassel from the lot right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for att your attendance this evening. Please rise and remain at your seat until all the graduates have recessed. Again, congratulations to the class of 2023.